Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Tia with Tia and the Beasleys. If you're not familiar with me, my family, or my channel, please go and watch my introduction video. After you watch this video, I'll have it linked at the top here as well as in the description box below. But I wanted to come on today because we are doing something so fun for day four of the 12 days of Christmas. We are going to the Enchant Christmas Lights in Seattle. So the kids are really excited. We're really excited. Hopefully it's everything that we hope it's going to be, but I will kind of take you guys along with us as we go. We have both the kids in the back and then he's driving very safely. So sorry if it's a little bumpy, we're on the highway. So I'm doing my best to hold the camera as still as I can, but let's just see where this enchant takes us. So let's go. So we actually got to Seattle a little bit earlier than we initially thought. So we walked around the stadium a little bit, both the T-Mobile Park and the CenturyLink Stadium, just to kind of see what was around. Maya got pretty tired of walking after a while, but I was determined to find a Starbucks. So we walked to Starbucks, got some coffee, and then walked back, and we're right on time to get into the Christmas lights. It went by so fast, I barely... When you walk into the lights, it's not like anything I've ever seen before. The whole place is just lit up. It's obviously an enclosed stadium and it was dark in there, but all of the Christmas lights just made like this beautiful glow, unlike anything I've ever seen. They had this really cool game that they gave you a little card and you had to find the hidden toys within the light maze. There were eight hidden toys and every time you found one, you got to scrape off the little part on the card. Maya loved finding the toys and then scraping off the little silver part to show what was underneath. And then once you found all eight toys, you found one of the elves at the exit and they gave you a little candy. She was so excited. I find myself wandering downtown my favorite design was probably these really large red ornaments they were so pretty in real life and up close and they were just awesome to look at They also had these super cool drinks that I got. I got one. It was a little light and it blinked. You could change the way that you wanted it to blink. There were a couple different settings, but it was just cranberry juice and vodka. It was very delicious. It was a little bit overpriced, but it obviously came with a cool cup. So I had to get one. This part I also thought was cool. When the kids or really anybody stepped on each individual square, it would light up with a different color. And I just thought it was so pretty when it was you know, a little bit darker in there. You could see just the lighting of the different squares. I thought it was pretty cool. And this is just the view from the upper level. So at the top of the stadium, they had a bunch of different shops set up. They had some restaurants open, some food as well. We didn't eat anything because we had already eaten at the buffet before, but it was super cool to kind of just walk around and look at the different shops. They also have a little kids area that's called Kids Zone. It was really designed for littler kids kids that were crawling or learning to walk or starting to you know, 
get a little bit older. It was a bunch of, you know, the foam sort of playground equipment that they could kind of just crawl around and jump around in. They had a little area for arts and crafts in the corner as well. We didn't spend too much time in there because it was very, very, very packed when we went in there, but I told Maya we would at least check it out. It is much later now. We had a great time at Enchant. It was beautiful, far better than our expectations, I think, but there was so many cool things that we got to do. We got the VIP package, so we paid a little bit more, but we got a whole bunch of different things included. We didn't have to wait in line to get in. There was a VIP entrance, and there was a buffet set up that we got to eat at, and then we got to rent the ice skates to ice skate for free, and there was just a few little added incentives that were much worth it for us. Um, we had a great time. So if you guys are planning on going, I really recommend that you buy parking with your tickets. We bought our parking with our tickets and we were able to park as early as three o'clock. The event tickets that we had were from four to seven, so we could arrive anytime between four and seven and stay as late as we wanted. We got there right at four. Um, we were actually in Seattle much earlier than that. We got to Seattle about three. So we had an hour to kill. They let us park, no problem. Didn't give us any questions or concerns. Uh, we parked in the parking garage and then kind of just walked around the stadium, walked around a little bit uh, just to kill some time until four o'clock when the doors opened. So I would highly recommend paying for parking when you buy your tickets because they were pretty lenient when it came to that. We didn't have any problems. And there was plenty of parking in the parking garage across the street from the actual uh, stadium. So we had a great time and we will definitely be doing it again. It'll probably be one of our new family traditions now that we're down here. Only complaint that I possibly could have is that they didn't let me bring in my tripod or my selfie stick. So it made it a little bit more difficult because I didn't wanna have to record as many videos. I wanted to kind of be able to kind of just do the whole full view. But aside from that, I don't have any other complaints. It was a great time and we really enjoyed it and we will definitely be doing it again. So if you guys liked day four of the 12 days of Christmas fun, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell so that it will notify you when I post the next few days of the 12 days of Christmas. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. 